What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going over all of our favorite pieces of camp gear for 2023. We pretty much go camping at least once a week, every week, <laughs> and so there are certain pieces of camp gear that always tend to make it out with us and always tend to be packed up with us depending on the weather. If it's hot or cold, we'll bring certain pieces of gear out with us. I split up this gear into three different sections. General camp gear, which includes lighting, camp cooking, and shelter slash sleeping apparatus. So let's dive in. The first item on our list is our ever advanced bug net tent. And this thing, has been a game changer. One of our newest additions for 2023. It's a great place to lounge out, especially when it's cold out, protects you from the elements, and keeps you away from the bugs. Probably one of Carly's favorite pieces of gear because it'll keep her away from those tarantula hawks that for some reason have been plaguing us when we've been going out and camping. Super portable, packable, sets up in less than two minutes. It's less than six foot tall so that it can easily pack up into the five foot truck bed. Really easy piece of camp gear to bring with us. It's been a great addition, guys. Uh, we've been loving it, particularly now that it's been getting cooler out. The tent has been doing great for running the propane fire pit and keeping the space a lot warmer than you would be when you're hanging out outside around camp. Next up on our list, Within our bug, bug net tent, we have the Ignic Propane Fire Pit. Literally the fire pit you can take with you anywhere you go. You can use it anywhere because it doesn't leave a ring. It paired up with a big 20 pound tank as well. And so that thing lasts about three months, I would say. I just now ran out of propane in the big tank for this thing. And so I now need to get it replaced. And it's, I've probably had the same tank since four months or so. But the take with you anywhere fire pit, creates the perfect ambiance, super easy to set up and light up. We love taking this thing out anywhere we go because we're either always running into a burn ban. So we'll usually set this up inside the ever advanced bug net tent and have a great time in there. Keeps the space warm. So inside of our bug tent, we got our fire pit. Now we need something to lounge on. So our favorite, favorite chairs, and we've had a lot of chairs over the years, but this is the front runner chair. Folds down, super quick, easy. Takes up a tiny, tiny footprint. Our favorite go-to chair. Portable, packable, comfortable chairs to hang out on anywhere inside the tent or inside the GFC as well. Because this chair packs down so easily inside the GFC, it works perfectly to kind of just maneuver it around. We also have some pockets on the side here on both sides. So here's the bag that it comes with. Both chairs fold up into this small bag right here, and so it works out super well. Packs down great, and we just love these chairs. And so this is definitely one of our go-to pieces of gear whenever we're out camping. We got our tent, we got our fire pit, we got our chairs. Next up, we have our camp rug, which I feel like the camp rug brings all of these elements together. You know, we were kind of joking when we first bought the camp rug, talking about how this is our step into RV life, but honestly, the camp rug has been such a game changer. It makes the space so much cozier at camp, and it also keeps your gear just a little bit cleaner. The fire pit, our chairs, it would get pretty dusty around camp just by, you know, moving it around. But with the camp rug, it really keeps some of that dust at bay, you know, especially since we're always camping out in the desert. We never thought, you know, we would care about a camp rug, but honestly, it, it does make a difference. And also, it's relatively packable. For what it brings to the table, super lightweight. I usually just set this on top of everything else. It's the last thing that gets packed and the last thing that gets put away whenever we're packing up at camp, and so it's just super easy to, to bring out with us. Next up on our list is our portable, packable trash can. This thing has been awesome. One of the newer pieces of gear that we've had. Let me get this guy out of the way. Shout out to Kyle because he definitely turned us on to these uh, little portable packable trash cans like this. You can store your trash in here whenever you're transiting around, which I like instead of having a bag of trash sitting in the back of your truck bed. You got this thing to keep it all together. So if you have liquids, 
roaming around in there. At least they all stay inside of a trash can and you know, it's somewhat waterproof. Also, there is a lid with this trash can, which is key. Critters and stuff, it stay, they stay away from there. The dog, if your dog tries to get in your trash, you got a lid to keep them out. So this has just been a fun addition. And this thing was cheap, it was like 12 bucks. There's a little uh, loop right here that you can pack it down like this so it stores away like this. And then whenever you're ready to use it, it turns into a whole trash can. It also does really great whenever you're camp cooking and you just need to like, you know, throw things away really easily. It's a game changer. I, I did not think that having a trash can would do so well. Back in the day, we did have a trash -roo, but honestly, the trash never made sense to us because it actually hangs off of the truck bed tailgate. And so with the tailgate down, you can't use the trash can. So having something like this where you can move it around camp to how, wherever you need to use it, this thing, oops, this thing has been awesome. Next up on the list is the five gallon jug here. And you guys have definitely seen this. It's just the most convenient way to get water, especially if you're using these five gallon tanks, which we fill these up for our house already. So we usually have five gallon jugs laying around. And so we just, you know, grab this and go whenever we're camping. This just makes it super easy to get water, having that one touch dispenser of water. We love using this thing. It makes it easy to wash dishes, wash your hands, wash your face just things like that. And this doubles up as drinking water since this is filtered purified water that we refill from like those, you know, windmills around town. Um, and so you can use the water for anything. Such a game changer having this at the top. The only con that I have about this particular dispenser is that you can't keep this dispenser on while you're transiting. If you're going through bumpy roads and stuff, I've tried it. This will eventually fly off and the water jug will may fall and then you'll have a big mess, which I've definitely, definitely done that. You can't just like have this permanently on here. You have to put it on and off whenever you get to camp, but that's my only con with it. And the last thing on the general camp list is a portable little electric fan. The reason why we like this one in particular is that there is a time off button on this so that you can set it. Having the timer is key, that way it doesn't drain the battery overnight, um, especially if you're camping for multiple nights and you don't wanna have to constantly keep charging some of your gear. This also does last quite a while, so even after the five hour mark, you can use this at least another two or three nights. This has been great, especially if you are in the GFC, you wanna keep air flowing, having an electric fan, whatever type of fan you got, this is a, uh, Frizz coal, I don't know. I'll leave a link to all this gear down below guys, but just an electric fan. This has been great for especially inside the tent or lounging around this thing comes in handy, especially when it's hot out. Next up on our list is the camp cooking section. So probably one of our most used items and one of our definite, definite go-tos is the Lodge cast iron combo set. So this is definitely our go-to pan and pot set. You can make anything with this combo right here from pizza to pastas, soups, jambalaya. You can use it for anything. And so we usually gravitate to this set. It's definitely the most versatile of our camp kitchen gear. Even if I don't know what we're gonna eat for the day or that night or for the weekend or whatever at camp, I'll usually just bring this because for the most part, it'll cook anything. Along with this though, something that something new that we have been using, particularly for breakfast is, this thing is called uh, the rock, which is essentially just like a portable griddle you can put over your double Coleman stove. I love using this thing for breakfast. It's double-sided, so you can use this for the grill side, which I have used this at home for like hot dogs and stuff. Um, and then you have the flat grill side for stuff like bacon, French toast, pancakes, you name it, you can use it. I love this particularly though for breakfast. It's just super versatile. Of our camp cooking apparatuses, our double Coleman stove is usually our go-to, to be honest. Double Coleman stove, you can do anything with. This is just a really nice to have. It's essentially a traveling Blackstone extension. Um, I know Blackstones these days have been super popular, which I've also been debating on getting one as well and exchanging it out for my Tembo Tuscadle, to be honest. But using this, this has kind of been checking my box for any type of flat griddle type of meals. Next up on my list, so we got our cast irons. We have one more cast iron over here, 
which you guys have definitely seen me use this in past videos, but this is the Rome XL heavy duty pie iron. Like this thing is serious guys. Like you could knock someone out with this thing. This has been fun for pies, s'more on it, hot pocket type of things. And it's just, it's a fun piece of gear. We don't bring it with us all the time, but we might as well, because if we have the propane fire pit, we can definitely bring this with us as well and use it. This is a really, really high quality cast iron pie maker. Next up on our list is the, let's see here. So if we aren't being lazy in the morning and jumping on the instant coffee train, we'll usually make coffee in our AeroPress. This thing is our go-to coffee maker. It makes really good coffee and it's always with us. This is our one coffee maker that we bring with us everywhere. Compact, it's not as big as like a French press, super easy to clean and it just has everything you need. It comes with like the filters in here. So literally all I need is hot water and coffee and this thing will do the rest. And and the last camp cooking item I'm going to mention, and this is brand, brand new, but I liked it so much after the first time I used it that I was, I was hooked and I guarantee I will continue using this thing, especially if we are going to be barbecuing, grilling, anything, but it is the Scotty grill. This thing is so awesome. Look how small packable this is. The only thing that's missing is the isobutane tank, which obviously this is not going to fit inside of this, but this is all you need for grilling. I mean, in comparison to my Coleman tailgating grill, which is pretty big and it's kind of awkward to pack up into the truck bed, this is an awesome addition to our camp cooking setup. I'm not gonna bring it with us every time we go out. It really just depends on the meals that we plan on cooking, but the first time I used this, I mean, it was relatively easy to set up after you get the whole, get the hang of, all right, which pieces go where, but I only did it once, and then the second time it was super easy for me to set it up. The burn on this was very even throughout the entire grill area, so I love that. I love how compact it is. It takes up the footprint of your Igdig fire pit. It's really small. You can use it anywhere, um, really easy to light. It did so well with the banh mis that I made a uh, couple, couple videos back. This has been so awesome. Uh, so I'm really excited about continuing to use this more, but I wanted to mention them because it, this was just such a cool piece of gear that is brand new to the list, so I wanted to show you guys it. And it weighs about, I wanna say uh, 22 pounds, I think, is what the, their, uh, their website says, and this thing is, made out of steel. And so it's just such a well-engineered piece of gear that I needed to mention it. After my first time using it, I had no issues. It performed perfectly. So super stoked to continue to use this. So that finishes off our camp cooking setup. Next up on our list is our sleeping. So one of our go-to items, especially if we know it's gonna be cold out, is our 12, whoop, our 12 volt blanket right here. And this saved me for many a cold nights, guys. <laughs> this thing has been awesome, uh, particularly because it takes up way less battery than my previous electric blanket. I just had to get rid of it because it literally toasted my Gold Zero Yeti 400. But what's nice about this is there is a low, medium, high setting, and it includes a time off shut off, which is really nice so that it doesn't kill your battery. You can just warm it up real quick before you jump into bed and then during the night it'll it'll turn off and then you can just you know press one button and it'll be back on again. I am now pairing this though with a brand new battery bank. I've actually replaced the Gold Zero Yeti 400 at this point and I now have the Blue Yeti AC70 which is a 1000 watt power bank and so it's definitely a step up from our Yeti 400. That power bank and this blanket it'll definitely power it for multiple days at a time. So we have a lot more power now guys which is great. So shout out to Blue for sending me that power bank. They sent it to me, I've been using it. It's been working out really great. The power bank, let me go get it actually. All right. So the Blue Eddy A70 power bank has been awesome. This thing weighs 22 pounds and it's got a couple different outlets here. We got some AC outlets, we got a single DC, we got some USB and some USB-C ports. You can also connect it to solar panels as well. And it came with both a AC and a DC charging plug, which is great because my Yeti, I actually had to buy 
that 12 volt power adapter so that you can charge the battery on the go while you're driving. But this unit came with it. So that is freaking awesome. This thing charges up super fast at a, to a full charge from zero, it only takes about 90 minutes. It literally charges up in 90 minutes. So if you're traveling around on a road trip, this will definitely be at full power by the time you get to camp. All right, so next up on our sleeping list, our get out gear blanket. And this thing has been awesome. It's a puff down blanket, stuffs down into this little sack. It's easy to pack around. I just keep it in our truck tote over there. What I particularly like about this blanket is that there is a little button around it so that you can clip it around yourself and just walk around. It's just like having a cape at camp. See right here, we got two little, little buttons right here. And then what I can do is just drape it around myself, button it up, button this thing up, and now I'm hands-free. Look like Superman, you know? It just hangs on me. You're free to use your hands and do whatever you need to do. This thing keeps me pretty warm. It's cozy, packable. The Get Out Gear Down Puffy Blanket. Highly recommend this as well. Really awesome camp blanket. And that pretty much closes out the sleeping section. The last section I'm going to talk about is our lighting. So let me just move some things out of the way here. The last piece of gear and pretty much my all-in-one lighting solution is the Ready Light Gen 2. This thing has been the one light that I always bring to camp and it lights all of camp. All-in-one unit, it charges all of the lights at the same time. And it's just been such a game changer. I'm not affiliated with Free Spirit or something that the vendor that makes these, I'm not affiliated with them. I bought this thing on my own. It's not the cheapest light, but it's been amazing. You have the stand for the light, which has the pods. The pods you can use to hang them in different sections. So let me show you guys here. You also can charge the unit with solar. And these are all the pods that I was talking about. So essentially each of the pods have all a bunch of different light modes. So you got a high light, you got a low light, you have a amber light, you got a flashlight type of light, and then you have a strobe light. And then you can hold it for two seconds and it'll turn off. Each pod actually has a USB charging option as well, so you can charge them up with USB if you need to, if they're not being charged up by the, the pot, the, uh, the home base itself. But what's cool is that you have a bunch of different ways that you can hang these around camp. And then this is also a magnet as well. So you can hang it to wherever. I don't have a magnet near me, but, um, you can, oh, here, this thing also has a magnet so you can hold it anywhere. And all of these can charge up with the solar panel at the back of the base here. And so you just set this in the sun and all of the pods charge. There's a main pod right here too, which is great for lighting up a really big area of camp. Two modes on this big light, a high and a low. And then what's awesome is that you have these, and I'm sure you guys have seen me use these many a times, the tripod for the light so that you can move the light around anywhere you need it to go around camp, which has been key. The tripod can actually bring the light up and down, hang the light pretty high so you can illuminate a pretty large area of camp, which has been a game changer. And I love the case that this comes with as well. It just makes it easy to move things around. This particular case, it's not the smallest, but it's not awkward at all. It packs pretty well into the truck bed. So we love it. This has been such a great light to have at camp. All right, guys, and that pretty much concludes my list of our favorite camp gear of 2023. Some of these items you guys are definitely familiar with. Some of these items I have been using for the last few years at when we're out camping, but some of these are definitely newer. And so I wanted to give you guys kind of just a summary list of everything we generally bring with us whenever we go camping. There's just certain pieces of gear that 
always, always make it out with us. And so these are the items here that I've just highlighted. So if you guys are interested, I will leave a link to all of this gear down below. If you guys use the link, I do get a little bit of a kickback from the affiliate links. And so I appreciate it if you guys do. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Comment down below, what's your favorite piece of gear that you always, always bring with you to camp? Let me know down below if it is a little bit different from what I have, or maybe I'm missing something. Also let me know. But other than that, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.